Orange Pipe is proud to resurrect from the dead. You don't know Jack. Binge Pipe, please, no whistleblowers. Hey there, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. Is what I'd say if I were here, but I'm not. Leave a message at the peak. They say number one is the loneliest number. I think 92 is. My grandpa basically had no friends at the end. Okay, this is real now. Time for question one. Let's start with Stuck Together Pages of Greatness. Say you visit a luxury spa that plays recordings of classic literature while you're being pampered. If you want your massage to have a happy ending, what is your best bet? Hot Stone and Wuthering Heights, Swedish with Anna Karenina, Shiatsu and The Great Gatsby, or Deep Tissue and Jane Eyre. Hope you like what you picked. At the end of Jane Eyre, she marries her true love, Mr. Rochester. I mean, sure, that's after Rochester's first wife sets fire to his house and jumps off the roof, but this was 1847, so you, you take what you can get. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Coming up, synchronized spiking. This is a two-part question. Ready? Part one, what year did beach volleyball become an official Olympic sport? And part two, what year did I first start regularly watching the Olympics? 1972 and 1972, 1988 and 1980. And how'd we do? Beach volleyball became an official sport in the Summer Olympics in 1996, which completely coincidentally is the same year I started regularly watching the Olympics. To be honest, I didn't even have a television set before 1996. Well, I did, but it didn't have beach volleyball on it, so it was just pretty much a fancy paperweight. Why do we do it with three? Introducing Black Windshield. But don't trust your smartphone because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven titles, and for each one, you tell me if it's an episode of Black Mirror, you know, the depressing sci-fi anthology show about the internet, or an old driver's education film. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between Black Mirror or Driver's Ed. Okay, let's do it. Options to live. Be right back. Nosedive. Safety or slot. Last date. Metalhead. Anatomy of an accident. Hey, let's hear it for lucky guesses. Now let's keep going. Here's one I like to call, these are the questions. Anchor what? More like anchor where? Cambodia, Singapore, Pakistan, or South Africa? Okay, let's take a look. Anchor Wat is the biggest religious monument in the world. It's also the biggest tourist attraction in Cambodia. I personally experienced a miracle there. I was jet lagged and rode a motorbike into a monk and then he didn't press charges. It is a big mysterious world. Here's one for you. When life gives you Lululemons. How would Socrates respond to my assertion that leggings are pants? Leggings are just leggings. Leggings are pants, but not in the office. But are all pants leggings? Or... So what'd you pick? Greek philosopher Socrates was famous for using the Socratic method, wherein he would ask a series of probing questions in order to find a contradiction in the original belief. Just like how I walk into a Lululemon and say, is this really how much leggings cost? Round one is dead to me. 
Halfway done and it's a dead heat between my jokes and your tolerance. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Okay, back at it. Six trombones is not a parade. Feast your eyes upon this. I never know how to pronounce French names. Which of these French kings relocated his court from Paris to Versailles? Louis, 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 or Louis, Louis. Let's see how that shook out. Louis the Fourteenth is the gaudy king you're looking for. He wasn't a great guy, but at least he didn't behead all his wives like Henry, 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 Henry. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. Set. Behold. Thank God it's Friday the 13th. What type of summer camp would be terrorized by Jason Voorhees? A band camp, a math camp, a swim camp, or a computer camp? I love this part. JSON is a computing term meaning JavaScript object notation. I could easily explain it to you, but what do you know? We don't have the time. In the first film, the killer is actually JSON's motherboard. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Why not try? Nice try, officer. And uh oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a Neighbor Miss Miss None. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, head in the game. Check out this gibberish phrase and let me know what movie line it rhymes with. Smell some glue? You're classic, narc. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. Greetings from... I give up. What was it? All right, let's move on. Next up, I never forget a French name. How many times did Louis appear on the screen during that I never know how to pronounce French names question? About 44 times, about 34 times, about 24 times, or never, it was Louis. Hope you like what you picked. Well, let me see. Louis, 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 Louis. Yep, about 34 times. Just wait until I ask you how many times I've said Louis in this game. Hmm, that'd be a tough one. Coming up, how many times have I said Louis in this game so far? Just kidding. Who said repetition is the death of magic? David Blaine, Bill Watterson, Tanya Harding, or Louis, 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 Louis. Okay, what'd you pick? Yep, that was Bill Watterson, the creator of Calvin and Hobbes. But counterpoint, seeing a decal of Calvin peeing on something never gets old. You made the Well, excuse me for living. Here's your clue. Saying the right thing in any language. Try not to embarrass yourself multilingually. Good luck. <laughs> Let's 
There's your score. Congratulations, you played yourself and you won. Well, your secret genius is safe with me. Just remember, 